We're here on Corsica. We arrived late last night. We got the ferry over from Nice. Uh, Staying a little campsite yesterday, and then today we're gonna go explore a whole bunch of like cool 4x4 tracks, see if we can find a spot to swim, and then just like see what's on the island, really. I'm so excited to be here. It's like 26 degrees, and it's the end of September, which is amazing. And this is like the one reason we left the UK, mm. so that we can come and like have Sunshine. as much summer as possible. So yeah, we're not here for a very long time, so we're definitely gonna make the most yeah. of it and just like see as much as we can in the short amount of time we've got. Yeah, we only have a week, but we think we're gonna stay on the north of the island because there's just so much to do and I don't think we'd be able to do the whole island in a week. Yeah, rather than like Russia, it will be like go see some mountain, do a bit of hiking. Like, see some beaches. Hang out by the beach, eat some food, mm. have a good time. All right. <laughs> That's it. Every video there's me putting the poles up. We just finished setting up camp, so now we're gonna go walk down to the beach, kinda of see what that's like, have a little swim. Uh, we've come down to the beach for a nice little dinner date. The sun is setting. We've got pasta and prosecco and the boys. Maybe we'll go for a swim. Yeah. <laughs> Such a cute sunset. I know, it was amazing, wasn't it? Little sunset, little prosecco. Now I think we go back to the car. Back for dinner. I'm very hungry. <laughs> finish the prosecco. <laughs> we still have half a bottle left, but we can finish that out of the car because I think if we drink all of that out of the beach, I won't make it back to yeah, the we'll car be crawling back. <laughs> without dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.
What time is it? Is it too late for dinner? No, oh, it's never too late for dinner. 8 p.m. Oh, dinner time. Dinner time. <laughs> Just having a look at like the brake discs because it sounds like there's like something just scraping probably from all the like off-roading we've been doing there's like bits of dust and shit just getting caught in there it makes a bit of a funny scraping sound when we're driving <laughs> so the brakes still work so it's like for now like it'll be all right but it's always like a bit stressful when it's like the brakes making noise because it's just like you kind of want those you know so power on we'll figure it out we'll drive to the next town see if it gets better or worse Les freins, ça, ça commence à, à peut-être euh, de remplacer les, euh, les, les brake pads. Je connais pas le, le mot français. Um, ouais, ok, ouais, ouais. Um, puis on est à 35 minutes de vous, juste sud. Puis on just had to call up a, a garage, like a little bit further up north from where we are now, see if they've got any brake pads for Defenders. Um, ours are starting to sound pretty bad, and having had a, a quick look, it looks pretty thin, so they're probably well overdue getting done. Um, he says he's got the brake pads, so we're gonna go up and see, and hopefully we've got, they've got the right bits. <laughs> nice. Nice. Got what we need. Yeah. Super nice guy. He's been working on Land Rovers all of his life. Chatting about the wonders of a 300 TDI, and then chatting about the prices for parts going up, and chatting about the new Defender. He's not a fan of the new Defender. <laughs> and then, yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go pop these bad boys let's on. Let's go shower. put them on. Yeah, hopefully it's not too complicated. So I can give him a call if there's any trouble. So. <laughs> nice. I mean, the whole plan was like, come to Corsica to extend summer for as long as possible. <laughs> that, that worked for about three I guess three we, got, days. Like, we got the summer storm, but yeah, woke up, pouring rain, need to like change the brake pads. We need to jack the car up and it's just like a mud bath. So not exactly ideal weather for jacking the car up and working on the brakes. Plus the brakes that we bought yesterday are not the right ones for our brake calipers, so we need to go back to the parts shop, explain to the guy. <sighs> <sighs> Still, Staying positive. We're on holiday. So we're at this really cool garage. Loads of Land Rovers all behind me. The guy really nicely let me use the lift so we could change the brake pads. And to be fair, I think we probably left it a little bit too late. They are, I mean, one of them in particular is 
worn. So yeah, long overdue. Um, but guys teach me a whole bunch of cool stuff and it's, um, yeah, really cool. We are on the west coast uh, of Corsica. We've come to a really nice little camp spot which is just off the road. Really cool beach here, so we're gonna watch the sunset uh, and then go for a really nice like, romantic dinner date. Really scenic, Henry. Scenic. Scenic poopic. Scenic poop. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we lost a few days of our short time on Corsica, we are grateful it was such a surprisingly cheap and easy fix thanks to the amazing help of Vanderland in Ajaccio. Times like this remind you how incredible the Land Rover community is, and you never have to worry if something goes wrong because there'll always be a Land Rover garage around the corner, which is one of the perks of driving a reliably unreliable old car. We celebrated being back on the road with an amazing dinner at a cute little beach restaurant called Santa Maria. It was super remote and in the off season no one was there, but they stayed open for us and all the food was cooked fresh by the family who own it. It was one of the best meals we've ever had. Fresh fish with an ocean breeze and a working Land Rover. What more could you need? The next day we hit the road and headed into the mountains. When we first thought of Corsica, we imagined white sand beaches and blue water. I had no idea they had such vast and wild mountain ranges to explore. It's actually home to Europe's hardest long distance hike, the GR20, which we would absolutely love to come back and do one day. Our first stop was this amazing forest campsite before heading into the mountains the next day. couple of days on the beach in the sun and then the weather started going a bit rainy so I don't want to be on the beach in the rain we head up into the mountains it feels like proper autumn now like mm. clouds everywhere starting to rain so maybe be like cozy afternoon oh it's so cozy though I kind of love it I love the beach I love the ocean but in the mountains in the mountains in the forest a bit moody I don't know something special about it yeah. <laughs> it's proper raining in my mind. <laughs> uh, what's the plans for the next couple of days? Um, we're gonna go into the mountains, do some hiking. Tomorrow looks like better weather, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, should we get inside? It's a bit stormy now, <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, wait, let's go. Get a shot of the trees. Nice forest, isn't it? That's so nice, like a little river. It's like there's so many trees, but it's still really open, which is really nice. 
Yeah, because sometimes in a forest it'll be so dark as well, it's like... Mm. But here it's still it so nice. It feels really light. light. Mm. I think maybe it's the river as well. Yeah. They good? Hot, <laughs> but delicious. Mm -hmm. Little bit of the old classic. Sir, oh, oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Did someone say sriracha? <laughs> woo woo woo! You're such a fan. <laughs> Not I'm sponsored. A I'm a super fan. <laughs> Final few days, we made our way slowly back to the ocean. Corsica is one of the most dramatic coastlines you've ever seen, with narrow single lane winding roads and incredible views. It was really hard to leave when we felt that we'd only just scratched the surface of what this island has to offer.
Hi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. Hey, stop fighting. On our last night, we stayed at a campsite near the ferry port and spent as much time by the sea, swimming in the warm water and making the most of our final days of the summer. Living in the UK really does make you appreciate warm dips in the ocean in southern Europe because it's definitely a little chillier up north. And of course we had to wake up with the sunrise for one last early morning dip and coffee watching the sun come up because as soon as we'd be back in Chile or Tumnal, England, this memory of swimming in the sea will have to keep us going all winter. Our time on Corsica really was short but sweet and we've realised one week definitely wasn't enough to make the most of this island. If you're planning a trip and have more time, then two or even three weeks would be ideal. We had very little holiday time left as we still squeeze in all our trips into Leo's time or full-time work. So that meant we really had to just make the most of every moment, brake pad fiasco and all. Now we've got some exciting upgrades to work on. Stay tuned as we share more about that in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you on the road.